Hey there, nerds. Jim Punk was here with a little drive time comic book review. I got to read Justice League number 41, and I want to preface this, as I am with all the DC books currently, I did not finish Convergence. I read the first four books, hated it, stopped. I liked a couple of the offshoot, offshoots, specifically Aquaman and Green Arrow, but I, I'm done. I, I was not going to finish it. I'm not going to waste my time. It was crap. If you disagree, fine. So be it. Comment below with your feelings. So when we come back into our normal universe now, I'm not entirely sure all the events that got us here. I know Justice League 40 because I read that one, but I don't know if there's anything else going on that bled into the fact of what's going on with 41. On to actually reviewing Justice League 41. I am not a big fan of Dark Side, so when I found out that this is the beginning of the Dark Side War, I was kind of like, ugh. I was not a huge fan when the new 52 Justice League came about, and of course the first storyline is leading into Dark Side. Just Dark Side, Apocalypse, all his sons and minions. I just I don't know what it is. I don't like it. I'm not a big fan. It's boring to me. That being said, I did enjoy this storyline. It was very um, Terminator esque, as everybody's trying to track down one character with one name and they're finding this woman's dead she's dead in several places but they haven't got the right one and one of my favorite characters to come out of this is mr miracle i don't know anything about mr miracle i'm not familiar with mr miracle he might be well known everywhere else and i just don't know that my introduction to him i think is fantastic i love his story and that he's an adopted son a sort of traded adopted son he did not obviously want to go with Darkseid and he's put down into the pits of Apocalypse to sort of waste away as a slave. He escapes and escapes uh, Apocalypse and now he's because of this mission he's got to return and sort of break into Darkseid's inner sanctum. Which obviously he wants to do on one hand but doesn't want to do because he doesn't want to be there ever again and just in case he gets stuck. I think that storyline's great. I really enjoyed this character as for the actual Justice League themselves, I really like this continuation of the storyline with Lex Luthor and what is going on with the team. Is he all in? Does he have his own agenda? What is going on? And I thought one of the greatest scenes is him and Superman go to rejoin the rest of the team. And he's like, stand back, Superman. I'm putting on my new suit. He's like, what's the big deal? It's powered by kryptonite. Uh, well, that's sort of a problem because I'm one of the mainstay leaders on this team and you're gonna have kryptonite? Yeah, yeah, we we're going to uh, power all of Metropolis with it, but we're just waiting for some approvals. It's like, what? I, I can't think of a friend or teammate, even if I didn't like them, that I would use basically their worst allergen ever, let alone something that strips them of all powers that could kill them, and stand right next to them. I thought that was hilarious and Lex Luthor is just doing it as in, oh, oh hum, yeah. I thought that was great, and there's a nice twist going on there that I did not see coming, maybe everybody else did, and this is what I was talking about with the convergence thing, maybe something happened that I don't know about, but I thought that was great. Um, I think the other team trying to figure out their own problems of what's going on, and then the overarching issue with the dark side war coming, and coming right on the heels with the contagion that Lex Luthor accidentally unleashed. Um, it's just great, basically bouncing from one catastrophe to the next. I did enjoy it. I so far enjoy this Dark Side War. I'm still leery, that's why I'm not going all out, meaning I'm going to give it four out of five Nerd Skulls, and that's basically my trepidation holding back. But I did enjoy this story. I do recommend it. Check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below.